going for the yellow, white and pink. The doctor basically told Fab to call 999 because I couldn't breathe. Hours. Two pictures. We're getting married. So when I tell you, Fab is currently in my bridesmaid dress with the flowers. Good morning everybody and welcome back to our channel. So today we've got a really fun video. Well, it's fun in our eyes because... We haven't done gardening for a while. No, but <laughs> and winter's we've been, been up. Winter's been hard, so it's nice to see some summer coming through. Yeah. Isn't it? And we're going to be getting our garden ready for summer today. We haven't done any gardening for like a whole year. We're the worst gardeners going. I'd say so it's probably going to be pretty funny to watch I mean our daffodils are on the way out already I know I've just had to move them back into the sunlight because they li literally they're like their heads are touching the floor yeah do they raise in the sun don't well, they I've just been watching them out of the window and this one of them has just been going like yeah I think they like raise to the sun I hope and then drop so. oh we got a delivery got a delivery god he didn't have to swing that round no. did he oh god he just thought we look out the window at him <laughs> Ultimately, we're doing the garden up today. Fab is now negative. I'm still positive, so I'm staying here. Fab's gonna go out and FaceTime me and pick up a few bits for the garden. Plants, flower pots, lots of bits we need. We're also gonna clean the whole garden, clean the deck in, check how the pergola and the decking's doing, how it's fared over winter. Clean all the patio. Yeah. And we, just get everything. As well, we in need order. to like sand down the table and stuff. <laughs> He's literally just dumped it and ran. <laughs> Door. You're right. I and just ran off. It's our HelloFresh. Hello Fresh. So after months of using HelloFresh, we're teaming up with them to give you a whopping 60% off your first box and 35% off your next three boxes. Here's how it works. HelloFresh is basically a food delivery service that delivers all of the food and all of the ingredients that you need for a certain recipe to your door. You can basically pick whatever meals you want off the app, which is really good. We found that really helpful because we've like planned our meals for weeks in advance yeah. what we want and the diversity is really good this, yeah. it's like you know usually we'd be having chicken nuggets and chips <laughs> but they've got all kinds of cuisines on there which is really cool and the ingredients are all fresh aren't yeah. they you guys know that our lives are just absolutely hectic so to be able to come home after the gym and after a busy week and know exactly what we're having yeah, and to have it like deal. all written down for us is just really really helpful it stops that debate of like oh, what we having for tea tonight and yeah. then you can't wait the decision like you know exactly what you're having so another thing that we were kind of worried about was the pricing but in actual fact when we've like looked at our bills and stuff HelloFresh has actually saved us a hell of a lot of money mm. because we're not going to the shop and picking up stuff that we don't need it literally sends you everything that you need there's no like waste is there whereas no. before you'd buy a whole pack of something and only use a little bit and then yeah. throw it away one of my favorite things right is the fact that we now cook every single meal together we help each other and it's actually like quality time for us to yeah. spend together which sounds weird right but I really enjoy cooking with Elle and we have a laugh and it's just an extra half an hour every night that we spend time together whereas yeah. before it'd be like right whose turn is it to cook tea chuck something in the oven so we've got our HelloFresh for the week now so we're going to unbox it show you what we've got with it show you our meals and also show you how cool it is the system we've got to put yeah. it away meals we've got this week are barbecue sausage skewers quick and sticky beef chorizo mushroom and sweet corn nana 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 whatever that's <laughs> serrano ham and butternut linguine Ooh. coconut caribbean style soup so this is for example one that we probably would have never ever made at home but we also tried a like it was like a chicken coconut curry wasn't it before? yeah and we absolutely loved it so that's why we like now choose stuff like this they basically come in like these paper bags and they have the number on. So the number that's on the bag corresponds with the number on the top of the recipe card. What we do is we empty out of these bags, we put it into our little fridge containers, we write with whiteboard pen the number, and then we can then put them into the fridge. If you want to try out HelloFresh, they have given you guys a discount code which will be on the screen. So if you click the link in the description, it will take you through to the website and you can choose your meals and start right away. Later on in the video, we will be cooking our meals, so we'll take you through that, won't we? Yeah, actually, when we how do easy it. it is. But 
definitely going to think I'm weird for this. Uh, <laughs> but why is it like that? Fab, I think it's on fire. No, it's not. It's not on fire. So Fab has just gone to the shops. I obviously can't go. Um, so he's basically going to FaceTime me when he gets there. Howdy. Hi. I'm at the garden centre. I'm looking outside at pots and stuff. Okay. But it's very expensive here. It's like 50 quid for a plant a pot. Yeah, I think they're so, all going to be about that fab, to be honest. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah, they're nice. What colour are the other ones? Pink? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Pink. yeah, they're nice. How much are they? They look together, don't they? Yeah. They're 15 quid for all these. I feel like an OAP. <laughs> I hope there's no OEPs near you. You're not a fan of them? I just think there's a grass. No, we're not. A cockerel we're in not. Flower no, we're not getting a cockerel. <laughs> That'd be nice, like in a pot, wouldn't it? £10. Fab has just got to Denelm and he's just um, shown me some flowers for potentially our wedding okay. bouquets. Okay, so we're looking for like light pinks, whites, and greens, Fab. Okay, there's these. No, absolutely not. Look, got... Oh yeah, yeah. Get a few of the, uh, get two of those. No, I don't like them. No, no, I don't like them. Yeah. Have they got any more of them? One, so I am. Yeah. Sixteen pounds. That looks good though, doesn't it? Right, I am ready for the day. Done my hair. I thought it looked quite cute. <laughs> you may beg to differ. I'm wearing my brown tracksuit. I'm not even sure if brown is even in at the moment, but I tell you something's really not in these socks and yes that is dirt from uh, walking outside in my socks so i am obviously so bored at home so while fab's out i've asked him to get a few like fake flowers for our wedding because i want to try and make my bridesmaids bouquet of flowers out of fake flowers i've just been watching like loads of like videos on youtube about people like diying their own wedding flowers and wedding accessories decor and it's just really inspired me to want to do my own so a girl that I watched said that she got all of her flowers from Denelm so I sent Fab to Denelm to get some flowers and some foliage and stuff to bring home so that while I'm bored at home I can do that so yeah that's why he FaceTimed me while he was in Denelm but it was so hard over FaceTime um, and I know I could just wait, but I'm literally going out of my mind at home. So I need something to do and I need something to distract me. Also waiting for some new nail varnish because I've got these ones on at the moment, which I would have shown you before. But I've ordered some like really light baby blue nail varnish, well nail gel. And I'm instead of doing hearts, I'm going to do blue with clouds on. So... Yeah, something else to keep me entertained. Fab is now just going to the range, so hopefully we can find some more flowers for the garden because the garden centre, although it's nice to like go local, my goodness, I'm not spending £15 on five flowers. That's ridiculous. I'm, I refuse to do that. Oh, look, he's FaceTiming me. Hey, I'm having a mind blank and I can't remember how to get to the range. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. Story of our lives. Whenever I'm in the car with Fab, he's always like, Elle, where do I go? Where do I go? He gets really like lost and confused. But yeah, I think he's on the right way now. Oh my God, you scared me. Hey, do you want a pumpkin? Hey, do you want to buy any flowers? Oh my God. <coughs> wow. It looks pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's gone really warm now. I know, nice. Okay. Oh, and you've got some more garden gloves, good job. Yeah. Um, oh, and you've got decking, yes. Whenever I just turned off the camera, no. Huh? You've got some cleaner, well done. Yeah. We renovated our whole garden last year. It was like about around this time last year, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and we filmed the whole process on our YouTube channel, so after this video, go and watch them. But basically, we did all of this ourselves with the help of Fab's parents Com looks completely different to what it used to look like. Obviously now got artificial grass. We did have real grass before, but we've got artificial grass now, which is one of the best decisions we ever made. Yeah, which we're going to clean today as well. <coughs> we extended this patio and added that row in there and also shifted this. It used to be to the right, didn't it? Yeah. But now it's central. And then obviously did all the decking and the pagoda which opened the space up massively, didn't it? Still can't get over how much bigger it looks without the shed there. We used to have a huge shed. 
And now we've got this tiny one from home base. Was it from home base? Yeah. I don't think they sell it anymore though, do they? Well, it's Freddy. Oh. <laughs> Fred! Fred! <laughs> oh no, he's digging up the plants. Hey! Today, we're gonna move the furniture off here, clean all the decking, clean all the grass, and the patio too. Our flower beds are looking very sparse at the moment because we got agitated, didn't we? And we ripped them all up. We shouldn't have because they threw flower beds. Yeah, we definitely shouldn't have ripped them up. Um, so we're gonna be planting new ones here. Um, yeah, tidying all this up. Here are Elle's ones that she's had inside for ages. So we're now gonna put them outside. Yeah, just the standard Sunday hoover in the garden. What's the plan, Stan? I don't know, I'm just going to lay them all out and just see okay. kind of what, what looks nice where. We're going for yellow, white and pink, aren't we? I'm, really, I'm literally butchering this, I wouldn't feel like. I've just found that we've got some patio and deck cleaner that we got with our pressure washer. So whilst I was doing the flower beds, I'm gonna do this on the patio. Here is our decking with no furniture on. Stayed in good condition, to be fair, over winter. It's a little bit green over here, as you can see, so hopefully the cleaner will lift some of that. the deck in is definitely made an improvement with that deck cleaner just need to leave it dry now he's got a lot of this green has come up which is good there's still a little bit but I didn't want to get too close by the way this cover is from Amazon we will link it if you want I don't know if will it get us in the shop. That is the garden done now. We're just waiting for the patio and the deck in to dry, but it looks way better now. The only thing we want to add, so our barbecue that's usually here is out in the alley. And we also want to get an egg chair, one of those hanging egg chairs to go here. I mean, I want it more than, than Al does, 
I want to sit out there and, and have my coffee and read, but... I'm just more practical. Leave a comment saying, Ellen, listen to Fab, it'll be good. Oh no, because of course they're going to improve. <laughs> we do definitely need to get some more plants for down there. Yeah. We're going to get some seeds, I think, aren't oh, we? Oh, you didn't plant your seeds. Because I don't know where they are. They're on top of the fridge. We'll do a follow-up video where we put more plants in there, yeah? Time for some lunch. We've got no ham, so what I'm about to have resembles what like an eight-year-old would have for the school lunch, but I'm here for it. We have got a crisp sandwich. What a throwback. Some Dunkers, and then the best chocolate known to man, these little Kinder bars. Incredible. Elle's already had her lunch. She had leftover Papa John's that we had last night. When I tell you it's just taken me two hours to soak this gel off my nails, Oh my goodness, I'm literally so bored of doing this already. Um, but funny story, in case you don't follow us on Instagram, on, well it's not funny at all. On Friday we had to call, well, Fab called the doctor, my doctor, on Friday because I was really struggling to breathe. Um, and my inhaler basically wasn't working. So Fab called my doctor to potentially, well, get some steroids. Um, to help me to breathe or to get another inhaler because I used mine so much that it ran out and the doctor basically told Fab to call 999 because I couldn't breathe um, and was literally like gasping for air so the the paramedics came anyway they were able to treat me at home and I never had to go in which was like beyond I was beyond grateful to be able to just stay home I really did not want to go in Anyway, one thing that they told me to do was, because I had a temperature, was stay on top of my paracetamol and uh, I've got nine hours today without taking my paracetamol. I was just sat then doing my nails thinking, why do I feel so like hot and ill again? And yeah, I've now got a raging temperature again, so I need to take my paracetamol ASAP to bring down my temperature. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna start painting my nails um, the blue and I'm going to do little clouds on it. So that is why I'm currently looking, I don't even know if you can see, I'm currently looking a little bit flustered. Right, so I've done my first hand and they've not really gone how I wanted them to go. Looks a bit more like a UFO than a cloud. <laughs> we were all that. We also need to have a look at those flowers sorry it's a little bit of a mess clothes to go away we need to have a look at those flowers and arrange them you up for doing that after yeah me too lovely great conversation so off camera Elle just said she reckons she's the best flower arranger in the UK I did not. yeah you did you are lying you said no, Fab, you're gonna get big nose if you lie come on then let's see it Apparently best flower ranger in the UK. They're nice, aren't they? Look at them. Where are they from again? Donnell. Another one there, look. That is not enough greenery. Dumbass. What, for one bouquet? Do you want it to be a hedge? Do a mile flower What? Who is that? Molly <laughs> Day, which is looking through the thing that Tommy and Warren. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a few people on YouTube and they did their own flower arrangements, but basically, I because I sent Fab to do it, he's not... <laughs> oh, here we go. I said to get two of these. There's another one there. It's not the same, honey. Oh, I picked up the wrong uh, one. I picked up the wrong one. That's the second right, burp okay. in this vid. Come on then, let's see the flower arranging. Apparently best in the UK. Fab, I didn't say that. God, it's a little bit big headed of you to say that. I but... didn't. Right, let's see what she can do then. There you go. What? Done. Done. Nice. Bit of texture. That's looking good. That's looking good. I believe your statement now. Put them in. <laughs> I haven't said I'm the best in the world. That looks good. I feel like it needs some texture in it though, like both of these. 
I've already got one of them oh, in right. there. Oh, right, okay. We'll both You're in your land. <laughs> it's unsolicited opinions. You, you wanted me to help, and now you're not listening to me. Typical Try. woman. Bell's cut up some of the roses. Let me see. Oh, ouch. Let me see. That's much better now. Yeah, that looks good. I just asked my sister what she thinks. Yeah, they look nice. Are they real or not? No, fake. Oh, that's good then, that she thinks they might be real. They don't look that fake, to be fair. No, they until don't. Until you get up close. We've obviously just made those bunches of flowers, and I sent them to my sister and to Taz, and the both of them have said, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, and I just thought, well, I need to see them against the dress. <laughs> so when I tell you, Fab is currently got the dress in up. my bridesmaid dress with the flowers. It's quite liberating, this is, actually. You look really good. Do I look good in this dress? Yeah. Honey. And those flowers she go really nicely, it. don't they? She won't show I'm not dress, showing my bridesmaid dress, sorry. I don't know if you'll be able to see in. Oh. Give him a quick, give him a quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freaking starving. She almost cried just now because I was eating the Harry Bows. Dramatic. Because, Fab, we got them yesterday and they're nearly all gone. No, they're not. Look. Right. Get out of my way. Look, nearly all of my Harry bows are gone. Literally. Also, look at our snack drawer. Isn't that just gold? It was everything I pick up. She goes, no, that's mine. Pick something else up. No, that's mine. Well, whose are they then? Ours. Who picked We're them? getting married. Who Don't eat my food. You eat mine though. Don't eat my Terry's chocolate orange either. I've just had a bit of that. You better not have. I promise you I have. I'm it's my life. Are you serious? I had one bit, and it was the middle bit. <gasps> no, no, Fab, I'm what? serious. That is the best bit. You have had some, but you haven't eaten the middle no, bit. No, I would never eat the middle bit. That's, that's really bad. So it's time to cook tea. Serrano ham and butternut linguine. Elle's cutting up the butternut squash. I'm on onion duty, ready, watch this. There we go. Butternut squash is going in. What's right. next, Chief? Cut the ham and trim the broccoli. So the linguine is cooking and we are just frying the ham until it is crispy. Remember, if you want to try out HelloFresh, make sure you use our code that I'll put on the screen and all the information and links will be down in the description as well. So it's Thursday now, the day that this video is being uploaded. We forgot to outro it on the weekend, but Elle is back at work today. She's feeling fine. She was missing the kids. She's a primary school teacher, if you didn't know. So she isn't here to outro the video with me, but I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're new, subscribe down below. We upload every single week. Oh, oh, oh.